LDBC. This is your boy Coach Sheldon Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Sheldon Harrison Boxing and MMA Show live. And let me tell you something. Let me tell y'all something right now. I'm, I'm finna bring the heat in this video. I'm about to bring the heat. And folks, that's just how it is, okay? Uh, shout out to MJ for this link. Um, you know, she sent me a link and, you know, told me about this. And I, you know, and I, I can't not talk about this. I can't even wait till I get back to my house. I can't do it. Okay, so that's why I'm on the road driving talking about it. But Chris Cyborg blocked Joe Rogan. And it's about time she did. You know, this guy has made so many, so many horrible comments about Cyborg. I mean, he's made some comments that I, I start scratching my head. I'm like, yo, you know, that's that's borderline. That's crossing the line. Okay, that that's 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 just absolutely crossing the line. And Joe Rogan has crossed the line with a lot of things that he say on many occasions, especially on this podcast. But I tell you this, um, and some of his guests on the podcast show. I mean, I, man, that, that that Italian dude. I can tell you, right, I got a million things to say about that guy, a million. Okay. But I'm going to go ahead and break it down. I'm glad Chris Cyborg blocked this whisker biscuit ball headed bastard. I'm glad she blocked him. Because, see, Joe Rogan done made a lot of comments and you know, about Chris Cyborg, and, you know, talking about her sexuality. I mean, you know, calling her a man, calling her what? He called her uh, some male Brazilian fighter on steroids, okay? And, and you know what, Joe Rogan, that's not the first time he done let some of them things slip, okay? And I keep telling y'all that many people, commentators, some of the fighters, you know, they follow that. Um, they, they, they follow that uh, uh, um, Joanna Jan Jacek model. And y'all remember, uh, she called Claudia Gehelia Dern, uh, uh, you know, said she from the jungle, said she had sent her back to the jungle. See, I think they got that same mentality. You know, and, and, and Joe Rogan done made some comments. And he make a lot of very negative, horrible comments about Brazilians. And I'm going to tell you something. I think that they feel like they can make them comments. Because number one, you know, a lot of the Brazilian fighters, they're not here. They're not from here. So... It's sort of like, okay, so you can make the comments because who's going to really get up in arms? Now, maybe the Brazilian people, maybe they might, but then again, they might not because they're not really, they, they don't speak this language great. So, okay, you're just listening to another American talk. And a, lot of, and a lot of the Brazilian fighters, most of them, their English is not that great. They may be talking to you in English, but you know, a lot of the stuff that you say, they don't get it. Because I got to believe, you know, that, that Claudia Gehelia, when, uh, when, when J.J. told her, you know, I send you back to the jungle. And I thought, and, I, and Claudia looked on her face like, eh, it was kind of trash talk. But then, you know, she came back with an article saying that she didn't appreciate that. Like, I think somebody had to break down to Claudia. Hey, Claudia, this is what she really said. I'm just trying, I'm trying to tell y'all. Because Claudia then started talking about it. Like, Claudia was, was offended and was pissed off, really. But that's, you know, I don't think Claudia caught the full gist of the whole thing. But commentators, I mean, people, they make these comments, man. And I, it, it sucks for the Brazilians, man, because, you know, it's like Joe Rogan. If you let him tell it, every Brazilian on steroids. I mean, if you let Joe Rogan tell it. You know, and I'm sitting back and I'm like, man, you know, Cyborg, finally she blocked him. I mean, this dude said it, what? He said, I think he said Cyborg was Anderson Silva on steroids or somebody. Some he compared Chris Cyborg to some Brazilian fighter, and that was out of line. That matter of fact, that was across the line. You're an employee of the UFC, so you know if Joe Rogan saying this crap, I wonder if the rest of the UFC, the upper echelon, I wonder if they think that same thing. You see, fighters like Cyborg, I, I keep telling y'all, she ain't gonna never get a fair shake. It, it's not gonna happen. I don't care what Chris Cyborg do. Cyborg can be tested a million times and come up clean. I mean, and she still ain't gonna get a fair shake. Yeah, because she tested dirty. She was a steroid. Yeah, that was in 2011. And she served her debt, whatever she had to do. She served that. But it's funny how people still want to bring it up, but ain't nobody bringing up Chael Sonnen. How y'all going to explain that? Chael Sonnen is the king of dope heads. I call him the dope head wizard. Yeah, but ain't nobody going to say nothing about that. I mean, literally. What about Conor McGregor's statement? Look, everybody on steroids in the UFC. I mean, he's... He, <laughs> but the only person that we want to highlight are the Brazilians. I mean, I don't know. So many people, so many people use performance enhancing drugs in the UFC, but it's amazing how Joe Rogan don't really want to talk about that. Not really. But we want to break down and tear down Chris Cyborg any chance we get. Sure. And I know why she blocked him, because he won't shut his damn mouth. That whisker biscuit, ball headed bat, he won't shut his mouth. Because every time you turn around, he's saying something sideways out of his mouth about Chris Cyborg. 
And people need to start calling this dude out, man. No, Joe Rogan, you don't get a pass because you hold a microphone and, and you and you got some opinions about the UFC as a company. You still don't get a pass. You don't get a pass. Because I can tell you something right now. If they say this kind of stuff about Brazilians, if they say this about Brazilians, I wonder what they say about everybody else. I can tell you right now, okay? See, the reason why Joe Rogan, they don't make these comments about American blacks that live here, because, see, they know that it'll be a huge uprising. They know. See, you can make those comments about Brazilians. Oh, you can say them all day because, see, nobody really is going to protest about you making negative comments about a Brazilian. They ain't going to do it because they're not, they, they don't live in this country. Most of them don't. They just don't. And people can say, well, Coach, why are you talking about this all the time? I mean, listen, why not? I mean, this is what's going on. See, I don't understand. You know, it's almost like you shoot the messenger. I'm telling you what's already here. And I'm stating the obvious. But Joe Rogan, he need to be reprimanded for a lot of the comments he done said about Cyborg. He need to be. He need to be suspended. I mean, something need to happen to this dude. Something need to happen to him. Because every time you turn around, he got something negative to say. But that's okay. And then that Italian dude that be on this show, I forgot his name. Some of the comments and the stereotypical stuff that this guy don't said on that show. But don't nobody say that, oh, everybody love him. Oh, yeah, he's a heck of a guy. He's this. Hey, man, listen, let me tell y'all something. That, that dude is about as bad as they come. I mean, I'm talking about cussing like a sailor, making stereotypical comments about people. I mean, but, you know, Joe Rogan and them, they, they find it funny. They, him and Brendan Shaw be sitting there laughing. But ain't nobody had, had the guts to say that. Hey, but, but the coach will. See, this section and this channel on YouTube, you're going to hear reality and you're going to hear exactly what it is. And there's nothing that's going to be left unturned. Nothing. See, you say dumb stuff, I'm going to call you out. If you say something suspect, I'm going to call you out. And it's a couple of fighters. Trust me. Trust me. In time. In time. Oh, I got it. Boy, I got that. that. Trust me. I'm sitting on a few things right now. But there are a few fighters, man. It's just no, man. And, and there are a few parts of the UFC as an organization. I can tell you right now the UFC they don't like some of my videos. They don't had a few of my videos taken down. I just I just ain't talked about it. They have. They had a, they don't had a few videos taken down. And I know because you know when, when they tell you that the video gotta come down, they tell you who the complaint was. So somebody up there, see when y'all say people ain't listening, yeah they are. Oh, they listening. They listening. But see, you know, it's just Many people think, well, Coach, you only got about 3,000 subs on your channel. You know, ain't nobody listening. Oh, yeah, they listening. Trust me. You see, they frequent this channel. A lot of higher-ups in the UFC, they frequent this channel. They come to this channel. Because they don't want people telling the truth. And see, maybe. And I know there have been other people, you know, on YouTube talking about how the UFC is. But see, I'm concentrated more on the women. I'm concentrated more on the women, and I do a lot of promoting the women. And see, I don't care who, who the woman is, you know, I'm going to, you know, try my best to try to help promote them. And see, this, what they do on the sideboard, they can't, that, there's no way that they can get around it, they can't stop. See, and the UFC know that they're on the hook. They know Joe Rogan made them comments. And they know that a lot of channels on YouTube won't say anything about it, but they know that this channel will say something. And so that's why they frequent the videos. I don't have an ego problem, guys. I never did. I'm just telling y'all the truth. When some of your videos get taken down and you see the complaint is the UFC, then you, you already know what it is. You already know what it is, okay? I know what it is. They can't take this heat that I'm finna keep putting out. And that's cool. But this is your boy, Coach Shelton Harrison. I'm done. Subscribe to the best women's MMA platform on YouTube. Subscribe.